intra-communal crisis resulting from the killing of three persons on February 15, 2023, led to tension in Opunembe town, Bayelsa State. The unease dragged into the period of the Bayelsa governorship election, heightening political tension. The job people are very welcoming, very hospitable set of human beings. And therefore, our history cannot be rewritten by anybody's quest for political power in the style that we have seen in gangsterism. No state that can develop with the type of crisis that we have in Nembe Basambri. Even the indigenes are running away. So how do you expect that non-indigenes and others will come in there to contribute to the development of the state? It is time for everybody to now take and to the path of peace. In the absence of the panel's chairman, retired Justice Margaret Akbomiemie, the secretary, D.A.P.R.I. Omubo, and the copies of the reports, memoranda, exhibits, and other documents that emanated from the inquiry to the governor. Due to logistic problems and the need for fair hearing, we had to ask for extension of time because some witnesses could not come due to threats or perceived threats. We made quite a lot of radio announcements and gave ample time. Your Excellency graciously granted us 25 days extension. Despite all the logistic problems that we faced, Your Excellency, we did a job and we have compiled our report. We will look at your recommendations. And you can trust this government. What we want is lasting peace. A special force from the Inspector General have been there before the elections and even after the elections. And I'm calling on the Inspector General to ensure and reconsider the posting of those special forces to very troubled states where lives have been lost on daily basis. As the Bayelsa state government prepares to implement the recommendations of the panel's report, it is expected that community stakeholders will partner with the authorities in its effort to enthrone lasting peace. Theophilus Agidi, Arise News.